Hi ladies, how you doing? Lisa here with Lisa Fisher Styling. Hey, today we are talking about showing up, looking your best on video. Uh, last week we discussed showing up, looking your best on video by using the rule of 10. And that is a structure around increasing the number of items we may wear in terms of our clothing or accessories to create more interest for the viewer, but also as the wearer to feel more pulled together. Today we're talking about showing up on video, looking and feeling our best by using different tips and tricks with cosmetics and skincare to put our best face forward. One of the areas of concerns that a lot of my clients mentioned to me is, Lisa, how do I eliminate excessive shadowing? Uh, what do I do? What are some tips and tricks? So if that is you, hold on, let's talk about this. So I have four products that I enjoy using. One is a primer. Second is a foundation or tinted moisturizer. Third is always, always, always a concealer. And then fourth is using, to create some dimension, is using a bronzer for contouring. All right, so let's jump in. So I actually have those four things on right now, plus, plus I have my lashes. Uh, but let's remove those four things and let's look at the difference. So I'm just removing any of my, my not blush, but my foundation. Concealer, primer, I'm removing it all right here. So now you can see how I have excessive shadowing. See all that? Mm hmm. Excessive redness, and how my sun damage really does jump forward. And the thing is, is that even the best lighting can't do anything with this. And so if I were showing up on video today and I was a participant, just having even friendship time, girl time, uh, or if I was presenting uh, my business, I would not feel my best. So in that case, in the mornings when I know I have a video call, is I just do four quick things to camouflage my concern areas. How about you? What are your concern areas? Uh, for your skin uh, when showing up on video. So let's talk about it. My first one, primer, is the purpose of a primer is to eliminate uh, skin imperfections when it concerns the texture, so large pores or fine lines. So I just use a small dab. This is about the size of a pea. I just put it together on my two fingers. And I like to put that anywhere I have some fine lines. This is non-comedogenic, so it does not clog pores. And it is amazing. Look at that, just even in that. Look at that, it just already eliminated the shadows. This is amazing product. And then my fine lines are definitely under the eye area. And this nasal labial folds, this is a great place to put a little of that, a little marionette lines. How about you? What are your concern areas? And could this product help you to feel more confident? See that change? I think it's amazing. Uh, so next is I use a foundation or maybe even a tinted moisturizer. What do you use? I'm so curious. So in this case, it's a tinted, it's a foundation, and I'm going to use a stipple brush. A stipple brush uh, is my favorite because it see the see all the various uh, sizes of little bristles on the end meaning it gives me just a perfect lightweight coverage and it doesn't come across too heavy on camera and it's just it's really nice so i'm just going to do a couple of dabs there and down through my t-zone and now let's blend and you can watch how the sun damage just disappears See that? Oh, that just disappeared. And I'm just lightly touching the skin and then blending. Okay, let's go up here in the top of the T-zone area. 
right? And great, so setting that foundation. It's getting better. And then lastly is I use a concealer and the concealer is for any shadowing that may be occurring on the face. So when you look in the mirror, when you're on camera, where do you see shadowing? For me, I typically see shadowing right here between the eye and the nose. And then it, it cups down under each eye. And I see shadowing here and here. How about you? Where do you see your shadowing, if any? So what I love to do is I love to take a very flat brush and a concealer and I go one shade lighter than my natural skin tone. And so I'm just going to go right into this little um, pocket, I guess you'd call it. See, just even doing that, see how it lifted it and brings, brings that area forward instead of the shadowing. Can you see that? Of course I need to blend, but so blending that out, but I love eliminating this shadow. A little extra there. All right, see the difference? And then I love to bring out from the edge of the eye to the temple and blend. That is a photographer's trick right there. I learned that when I was in modeling school and I was 16, but bring it from here out. And if you notice the difference, how this eye stands out and the shadowing is eliminated as compared to this side. Can you see that? So it's a, let's go back over here and bring just a little bit of product in there. Open that up. See how that opens up? Let's do that little trick on the end. Oops, I got on my... Okay, great. And if there was any additional shadowing, you could certainly just go in there. All right, so I've eliminated the shadowing. Still need to blend it a bit. All right, so the other areas I love to look for shadowing is around the nose. So in this case, I would just come in around the nose, eliminate that part. Nasal labial fold is right here. So you just go right in the crease. So we eliminated that. And then you just go back and you blend. Blend that out. And it just removes that shadowing and it prepares you for creating dimension with the next step, which I love, is a bronzer, okay? So we've eliminated skin imperfections. The next is to create uh, dimension and bring our assets forward. So the one product that I love to create that and the last one of our video is a bronzer and I'm using a slanted brush that's fairly, that's about medium size for width. And that goes right under the cheekbone in the hollow space. So cheekbone is here and I'm going right underneath and that's where this line is going. And then I'm softening it so it doesn't look like a line, but the objective is to create an instant cheekbone by creating a darker color right underneath this. So see how that brings a cheekbone forward instantly and has created dimension, which shows up really nicely on video. Another thing that we could do to create dimension is, um, is narrowing a wide nose, which I have. How about you? What, what's happening on your facial features? That, that could be fun to practice with using a bronzer. So watch this, I just bring the darker, line down the side of the nose and I blend it and look it's created this really nice um contour there can you see the difference all right let's take it to the other side a little bit of bronzer come out in the hairline finish to the little side of the nose there so I'm coming up essentially through this line I'm following the brow and then I'm coming right down in the side of the nose. And I am going over the nostril a little bit. And so what it does, it, we have dark and light. So we've created some intentional shadowing. So it brings the light here, which 
which makes it appear as a thinner nose. So why do I, why did I do that technique? To create balance because beauty in anything is having balance and, and some structure. And so by creating dimension instead of a flat face on video is more attractive. So those are just four steps in creating your foundation of eliminating concern areas, so camouflaging concerns, and then begin the process of accentuating your assets using contour with a bronzer. So how about you? What questions is this bringing up for you? What do you do in your makeup routine? Um, do you feel like this is too much? Do you think it's too little? Is this, like, what questions do you have? Would love to hear from you. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do is to connect and uh, to be able to continue in further dialogue. So please do that here in the link below. And uh, for any resources that I just covered, happy to assist you there, and I will provide the links uh, here in the blog. Um, and in, additionally, if you are looking for more information, I invite you to head over to lisafisherstyling.com. We have information about a free closet refresh, if that's something that you're doing this season. And I'd love to invite you to check out the Image Strong community. That is a place where like-minded women come together virtually and we have Q&A, we, um, we have Lunch with Lisa on Mondays and we talk about styling tips and tricks and I share style secrets. Would love to have you in the community, in this membership. All right, ladies, look forward next week where we'll be talking about uh, really the, the parts of the makeup that bring your assets forward, which are cheeks, lips, and eyes. So stay tuned for the third video in the series, showing up on video, looking your best. I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you next week. All right, take good care.